Last time on She Rules the Waves, me and the crew went deep into the archipelago, went cliff jumping, and generally behaved like the grown ups we supposedly are. <clears throat> this time, we head out to sea, we pass by the old Soviet submarine grounding site, and I tried to convince the crew why we would want to visit a rock in the ocean where there's absolutely nothing to do. If you do like these stories, please share it with your friends, give us a thumbs up and a comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. After a stunning evening and a calm and comfortable night at Urna, it was time to untie the lines and head out of the archipelago. When the crew wanted to know the goal of the day, I told them that we'll sail towards the small outpost in the southeastern corner of Sweden called Utklippan. So what do you do there? they asked. Well, it's just a couple of rocks with a sheltered harbor and an old lighthouse, I answered. Yeah, but what can you do there? they persisted. Well, the answer is, there's absolutely nothing to do. But that's the beauty of it. You'll see. the Soviet submarine. Or at least the site where it grounded back in 1981. But unfortunately I botched the whole video recording so I had to use this old stock photo instead. having a rough time. Once we arrived, I was eager to show them all the amazing nothingness that we had to do. So we went for a walk. We saw some birds, an old rotting seal carcass, and an old ruin that we assumed had to be used for the old timey hangings of YouTubers and other lower class people. It's not a big island, and some parts are even off limits due to seals and birds nesting. So, after that short walk, we decided to get the electric dinghy motor onto one of the county's loner rowboats and head for the South Island to see what we could absolutely not do over there. The weather was just amazing, and the scenery is nothing short of breathtaking. Utklippan is Sweden's most southeasterly group of islands, and it's made out of two low lying skerries, Norra Skär and Södra Skär. On the northern Skerry, and kind of between the two islands, lies a sheltered guest harbor built in 1943 to give the fishermen of the areas a chance to rest. The southern Skerry is the location of the former lighthouse keeper station. 
The fortification with the beacon is now a historic building, and from the tower you supposedly have a fantastic view of a seal colony and infinite vistas of the barren landscape. But sadly, that's closed. So we just had to explore it by foot. So I see they bought you a bottle of rum, did they? Oh, they did, the bastards. I'm so happy. <laughs> yep. After the excursions, we decided to join Lazy back at the boat with a beverage of our own. <laughs> Followed by a European qualifier game with my favorite team, Hammar B, on the iPad. <laughs> The sun was setting and the wind was howling, so we went out to the shore to check out the sunset and the waves. Even though we actually woke up fairly early the next morning, most boats had already left. And sadly, it was time for us to do the same. We were plotting a course outside of the islands back towards Karlskrona, to end this wonderful trip where it started just a few days earlier. We had moderate winds just in front of the beam and we were pretty much flying all the way to the inlet between Aspe and Churka. The wind died down quite a lot when we got in between the islands, 
But on a sunny day like this, you can really appreciate bobbing around and looking at all the old fortresses in the area. Unless everyone have to visit the bathroom, of course. Then it is best to hurry up. Thank you so much for following our adventures. And I promise you there's much more to come in the following episodes as well in the next season. Please support us in the way you seem fit. Maybe leave a like. Maybe share the channel with your friends. Maybe even check out our new Patreon page. Either way, I can't wait to see you next time. And until then, take care. <laughs>